going to do a fun kid activity today to get everybody outside. This is the Roly Poly Playhouse that we're going to make today. All it takes is a knife, some potatoes, the biggest baker potatoes you can find work best or even medium size. You just don't want to buy the little tiny ones. You need a sharp spoon. I have a fork too to help tear up the inside. And then you'll need some kind of tape to put the Roly Poly Playhouse back together. So I'm going to find the biggest potato in my bag. And I'm going to cut it in half lengthwise, the long way. Not in half with two short stubbies, but long, long way. Right down the middle. If you have young children, you might want to do this part for them. So you have two long halves. Then the goal is to get uh, most of the middle pulp out while leaving maybe a half inch edge next to the potato skin. Think about twice baked potatoes and how you take most of the middle out but you leave part to hold it together. And you want to do that on both sides. So if you rough it up with the fork, then you can take the sharp edge spoon and carve it. And you just want to carve out a room. Here, making a making a playroom. There we go. There we go. And then repeat on the other half. Then once we have both halves carved out and they're ready to go, you need to pick a place, a side, where you would like to have the door for the roly-polies to get into the playhouse. And then take some kind of tape and you want to go around it a few times. I always put a flap at the end of the tape so that kids, when they come back to look inside, can pull it open easily and wrap it back up easily also. So there is your roly-poly playhouse, a mansion for tiny, tiny bugs. And there's a lot you can do with this. If you're a science teacher, this is an inexpensive way to introduce really simple experiments. All the kids make a roly-poly playhouse and then you put the roly-poly playhouse in different habitats. One out in the middle of the field, one next to a building, one in the dark, one near water. And as you go back either every day or every week, the children can record how many and what animals they find inside their roly-poly house and they can make a decision about what is a good habitat for roly-polies or maybe if all they find is ants in one that would be a good habitat for the ants. Now you can you can do it that way or you can also do it over a period of time to watch what happens when a resource decays and dries out. So maybe put it in this in a dark place because roly-polies like dark places and come back and check it every week, counting and identifying what you've got inside. And then over the weeks, you'll see it caves in, gets all grungy, and pretty soon it won't be a good resource for uh, animals to eat and use. Roly poly playhouses. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.